Greetings everyone, my name is Cyrus Nayeri and today on our episode we're going to talk about the Bohemian Grove. Yes, the Bohemian Grove. This is something that I've wanted to talk about for a long time. This is a, a, a group of people that meet in uh, San Francisco once a year. As you may already know, this uh, group of people consists of presidents and leaders and uh, high-level uh, businessmen uh, of the world meet in a certain place in the red Redwoods. And there's a whole bunch of rumors about what kind of things go on there as far as uh, uh, prostitutions, satanic worshiping, uh, these kind of uh, various rituals that they do. But uh, I want to uh, I want to ignore that for just a few minutes and talk about something else about the Bohemian Grove that for me is a lot more important than if they believe in uh, this owl, this uh, I forget his name, the owl that's supposed to represent the evil god or Moloch or whatever or something like that. But instead of getting too uh, uh, sidetracked with these things, I want to talk about what I consider are the most important aspects of the Bohemian Grove, such as, like I said, the fact that a lot of the elites of the world go to this certain place in San Francisco and um, supposedly uh, make global decisions. Now, I think from what I've heard, they deny. Uh, I think uh, David Gergen, when he was cornered by Alex Jones for an interview, he denied that any global uh, decisions are made there. But what's, uh, what's really uh, curious to me about that statement is then why, does, why do all the elites of the world uh, gather in one place uh, to uh, talk about things? That makes absolutely no sense. As I was talking about when uh, Alex Jones confronted uh, David Gergen on the uh, sidewalk and asked him these questions, uh, David Gergen didn't deny uh, the Bohemian Grove. He didn't deny being a member of uh, Bohemian Grove. And he kind of put forth that Bohemian Grove is kind of like a, just a club just like you'd have like a country club that he's a proud member of and that there is nothing wrong with that. Now here's a huge problem I see with that statement coming from him or any of the Bushes or Clintons or top businessmen of the world that no, you do not have a right to secretly meet at some sort of country club Mr. David Gergen or President Bush or whoever else might be going there because of the simple fact that you're civil servants. You guys make decisions based off the money that we give you guys through our taxes. So what you do with our tax money, we're entitled to know about. If you're not a civil servant, if you're not going to uh, work off the uh, people's uh, tax money. You have a, a normal business like any other person or you're a, a, a hardworking employee, then sure, go to a country club. Sign up for a country club. You have absolutely no one to answer to. But if you have the rest of the country to answer to, hey, what'd you do with our tax money? Uh, what's going on here? Why are you guys doing this? Uh, to start something like the Bohemian Grove, to attend something like the Bohemian Grove and not let other people go into the Bohemian Grove is uh, appalling, if you ask me. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Now, I've heard many, of the, uh, many people of the Bohemian Grove kind of put forth that it's, it's not a uh, secret club, uh, that it's uh, uh, something that uh, some people have just uh, joined and it's just, it's just a club, just like any other club. 
Well, if it's just uh, any other club, then I want to know why you and I can join. Uh, we can go to the local country club or uh, something like this and sign up and join. No problem. So, why is it a different standard of rules when it comes to applying to joining the Bohemian Grove? If the Bohemian Grove is really just a country club where people have innocent fun, no global decisions are made there, hey, uh, I would like to join. Uh, reach out to me or let me know how to reach out to you guys and I can become a member of the Bohemian Grove. Now, I just want to put out there that I'm not gay, and I understand the Bohemian Grove has a lot of homosexual activity going on there. As a matter of fact, uh, it was President Nixon who, after going to the Bohemian Grove, says something to the fact of it's the most goddamn, and I won't use his exact words, but most uh, a derogatory uh, term for gay people place that I've ever been and that he didn't want to shake anyone's hand there. Now, uh, this is uh, the kind of a place I'm talking about. I, I'm not saying anything uh, against uh, uh, homosexual people, but uh, where we have this uh, bizarre collection of people they come together and uh, from what I understand, after a certain time, all the females have to leave the premises. They have uh, prostitutes, male and female, that are flown in from uh, uh, various uh, states to uh, serve the members of the Bohemian Grove. Now, to me, it's always been uh, uh, very interesting and puzzling why more people don't ask questions about that. When you uh, go to the Bohemian Grove like Alex Jones did on the day that they were having their cremation of care, uh, they had borders, they wouldn't let people uh, inside. Alex Jones uh, snuck inside. Now, once again, if, if, if these people aren't doing anything wrong, why do you have to be so secret about this? Mr. David Gergen, the Bushes, Clinton, anyone who's gone to Bohemian Grove, everyone who's a civil servant that works for we, the people of the United States, I want to hear an answer as to what the heck goes on in that place, how people join that place. The American people want answers because the American people are waking up and we smell something very fishy going on in places like Bohemian Grove, the Bilderbergs, all of these organizations which would be considered the elites of the world that I guess would fall under the umbrella of the Illuminati, Skull and Bones, all these kind of offshoots for the uh, Illuminati. I just wanted to say, my name is Cyrus Nairi, and I would love some answers.